Android Nougat is finally here for the Galaxy Note 8.0. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sassania from Hashtag and today I'm bringing you a review of the Lineage OS 14.1 for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. Let's get right into it. So guys, starting off, obviously I'm going to give you the tour of the software of the Lineage OS ROM and I'm going to tell you about the special features. One thing that is pretty special about this ROM is that this runs Android Nougat, which is great in my opinion, that a device this old can run Nougat. But overall this ROM looks like you would expect any other stock Android ROM or for that matter Nougat ROM to look like and the launcher I'm using is the Nova launcher with the theme and yeah this is what the different elements of the UI such as the recent panel and the notification panel looks like and this ROM is obviously based upon Android Nougat and it's fairly smooth. The user interface is intuitive Android N as we all know and love with its swipe gestures and its quick animations and overall buttery smooth performance and we obviously have the multi window multitasking that is a great feature that I missed from touchways using CM13 so I'm really happy I have it over here this is a great feature now moving into the section that is speed and stability and as far as stability and speed is concerned this ROM is very stable for an alpha release I was not expecting a ROM to be this stable at an alpha release but obviously it's not perfect the camera per se the stock one at least doesn't work but if you install an app from the Play Store like the open camera, you can use the camera for anything and everything. So that's great. The overall animations of the system and the app opening time and obviously the smoothness in the multi window is pretty fine. I wouldn't say it's the best in the world. It's right on par with the CM13, but it can lag sometimes because obviously this experience is kind of unreliable because it's still in the alpha stages but i was still shocked at how usable this rom really was at its early stages and the apps are held in memory when you open them so multitasking is great in this rom as well so i was pleasantly su uh, surprised and yeah this rom is totally usable one thing that may not be that great to most people is battery life. Battery life is mediocre, I'd say. It would give you only 3 hours at max of screen on time, but standby time is good. Now moving on to the bugs and issues. The biggest bug is that this ROM cannot be relied upon since it is in its alpha releases. But take my word for it, this ROM is very stable for an alpha release and it is totally a daily tribal material ROM but GPS and Bluetooth are a little bit iffy but other than that this ROM is pretty much stable but yeah. So guys that was the Lineage OS ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.1. Remember guys this video on its entirety was shot on the Google Nexus 5 so let me know how the quality is and tell me how much better or worse it is compared to the Galaxy S5. And I would recommend this ROM if you want the latest version of Android. But another thing that I would say is that you should wait for it to get stable if you want to use it as a solid, reliable daily driver. It shocked me how stable this ROM was, especially for a beta build. So I would give this ROM a thumbs up. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to make a video on how to install it, just let me know down in the comments below. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.